hello in this video we shall see how we can implement a boolean function using multiplexer depending on the number of select lines of the multiplexer and the number of input variables we will have two cases case 1 when number of select lines of the given marks is equal to number of input variables in the given problem and case 2 is when number of select lines of the given marks is not equal to number of input variables in the given problem. Let us take up an example from both the cases and see how do we solve them. So here we are given implement the function f of a comma b comma c equal to summation 0 1 3 5 using 8 is to 1 multiplexer that is 7 4 ls 1 pi 1 now first i have to identify the number of select lines in the given marks to do that i'll compare the given marks with the general form of the marks that is 2 power n is to 1 now the marks that i have is 8 is to 1 which can be written as 2 power 3 is to 1 so n will be 3 this is your number of select lines now the number of select lines is 3 and also input variables are 3 so this is case 1 now i have identified under which case does this problem fall now let me see how to solve it first i have to draw the logic symbol for 74 ls 151 now if i represent 74 ls 151 ic by this block I know it has two outputs y and y bar three select lines s0 s1 s2 one active low enable input e bar and eight data lines D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6 and D7. Since the number of select lines is equal to number of input variables, I can assign each of the select line to an input variable. So S0 will be connected to C, S1 will be connected to B, and S2 will be connected to A. When I do these connections, each of the data line will represent a min term. That is, D0 will represent M0, D1 will represent M1, D2 will represent M2, D3 will represent M3, D4 will represent M4, D5 will represent M5, D6 will represent M6, and D7 will represent m7 now the last step in solving the problem is i have to see what min terms are given to me in the problem the min term given to me in this problem is 0 1 3 and 5 i have to take all those data lines 0 1 3 and 5 I'll connect them together and connect it to plus 5 volts. The remaining data lines M2, M4, M6 and M7 I must connect them to ground. So this is your final diagram. You have implemented the function using a multiplexer now if you want to cross verify it you can construct a truth table 
A, B, C are your select lines and Y is your output. When the input to the select line is 0, 0, 0, D0 gets connected to the output and D0 is connected to plus 5 volts which is logic 1. So output is 1. Now when inputs to the select line is 1, 0, 0, I know D4 gets connected to the output and D4 is connected to ground. So output will be 0. I can write down all the combinations of ABC and see for what values the output will be 1. So if I do that, the output will be 1 for min term 0 or 1 or 3 or 5. This is same as 0, 1, 3 and 5 that was given to me in the problem. Thus I have successfully realized or implemented the function using a multiplexer. We'll take up an example from case 2 and see how to solve them in the next video. Thank you.